Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having deviled egg casserole. Then I also made some green beans, some canned green beans that I had in my pantry. I originally made this deviled egg casserole probably about 10 years ago. I found it in a really old cookbook from the 1970s and it is so good. And so I made it again because I participated in this uh, collaboration called Easter, hashtag Easter leftovers. So I will make sure to leave the video um, that I made for this recipe in the description box. You guys can check out the recipe as well as check out all the other YouTubers because I'll have links in that video um, and see what they made for Easter leftover with their Easter leftovers. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having frozen pizza. I had this DiGiorno croissant crust in my freezer and we've had it before and like it a lot. So you cook it directly on the oven rack and then you just put it, of course, in a pan to cut it. So as you can see on the picture, you see lots of little flake, flaky layers. I did cut out a piece so that you guys can see it. Um, you don't see as many flaky layers as are on the picture, but I will say that this crust is not like a traditional frozen pizza crust. It is lighter and flakier. I wouldn't say that it tastes like a croissant because it doesn't, but it does have to us a nice flaky texture to it. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out some simmer sauce that I picked up from Aldi during my last haul. And I'll link it in the description box so you guys can see everything that I picked up then. But this is a creamy mushroom sauce. They had one other simmer sauce. And let me show you the picture on the front. So you're supposed to um, cook up some chicken first, which is what I have going in the skillet. It's a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I cooked that up. I also seasoned it with a little bit of garlic sauce. And this um, simmer sauce is Parmesan and Asiago cheese. Let me try to spin it so you guys can see the ingredients that are in there. And then you're just supposed to add in some water right along with it. I've got some water boiling. I'm gonna throw some linguine in there. So I am going to pour this in the skillet, add the water, and then of course I'll come back and show you our plates. So here's our dinner, and Howard and I both tasted it, and it, both, and it tastes good to both of us. To me, it does have a twang to it. I did not realize that the first ingredient was sour cream, which I do like sour cream, but if you don't, um, you probably would not like this sauce, but it's good. That's my child in the background, and it does have, um, it does look like the picture. And I also made a side salad to go with it. I picked this up from Sam's and I will link that haul so you guys can check it out. But I only made half of the package. And in the package, it comes with the um, salad dressing, cheese, and then it has like the like crunchy sesame um, sticks and um, freeze dried corn. So I'm just putting it in this bowl and putting it back in the fridge. And here is what half of the salad looks like. So. I'll put this on our plates when we get to the dinner table. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Golden Chick, which is a fast food chain here. Um, we were out and about and just decided to stop and get some food and bring it home and eat it. So this is my plate. I got their roasted chicken. I got two chicken thighs, and then I got some dirty rice to go with it and a yeast roll. I wanted to try out their fried shrimp, so I just got a side of fried shrimp. And this is um, this is what the name of the restaurant, Gold Chick. And then Howard got a fried chicken plate. He got two chicken thighs, yeast roll, and mashed potatoes and gravy. And then you get um, drinks with it as well. He got orange crush, and I got a sweet tea. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this tempura shrimp. I've talked about it before. We really like it. I got it from Aldi. It is a seasonal item. So I bought three boxes last time that I went. So here it is, I cooked it in the air fryer and it turns out nice and golden brown. I cook it for a total of eight minutes and then I flip it halfway through at 370. And then I had some fresh broccoli that I just sauteed with a little bit of olive oil, sesame oil, and garlic salt. And then in my pantry, I really needed to use this up. It's been in my pantry for a while. Um, it is one of those microwave um, rice packets, Lundberg, it's white rice. And the flavor is sesame, soy, ginger, and sesame, soy, and ginger. And I thought it would have a stronger flavor, be more Asian, those black seeds or sesame seeds, but it's really not that great. I probably would not buy this again. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.